everyone and welcome to our virtual winner ceremony for the Shell Eco Marathon Asia 2020 Off Track Awards. Before we kick off the show, I want to start off by thanking all of you for the tremendous flexibility and understanding that you have shown as we evolved the Shell Eco Marathon program due to the impact of COVID-19. And as the situation continues to change, the health and safety of our Shell Eco Marathon participants and of course our organizing teams remains our top priority. We want to celebrate the amazing innovation that you have shown in your submissions to the Off-Track Awards, which are very much deserving of an Off-Track Award ceremony. So roll the titles, please. So let's get started. It's been a really fierce competition this year for all six Off-Track Awards. We received over 100 submissions from 50 different teams across 16 Asian countries which of course made the judging for our jury once again very tough. After building a shortlist in each award category, our jury got together online to go through a very stringent selection process to determine the winners. And as every year, each winning team will receive $3,000 prize money. And please don't forget, if you're a winner today, share a celebration selfie with us on Instagram or Twitter. Our award announcers are ready and waiting, but first, we have a message for all our team from a very special guest. Hey Norman, Charles de Klerk, F1 Scuderia Ferrari driver here, coming to you from Monaco. I'm so happy to be part of your Shell Eco Marathon Off-Track Awards ceremony. I know how hard you all have worked on your cars and performance this year and how disappointing it is to not be at the track putting all that work to the test. Believe me, I know how you feel. I wanted to say a huge congratulations in advance to all the winners. I'm really glad that you are still able to do the Off-Track Awards this year. And with the nominations, it's clear that we have some amazing teams in this year's competitions. Thanks to you all. And and bye for now. Norman, back to you. Thanks very much, Charles, and we look forward to seeing you race again very soon. Our first award is the Technical Innovation Award, sponsored by Southwest Research Institute. This award recognizes outstanding technical ingenuity. And we're now going to Matt Jackson from Southwest Research Institute. Hello, Matt. Welcome to the show. Would you like to tell us, please, what impressed you most with this year's winners? And most importantly, who are they? Hi, Norman. All this year's entries for the Technical Innovation Award were very strong. The winning team implemented an energy-conserving, purge-free water removal system for their hydrogen fuel cell. They were able to demonstrate energy savings through better fuel cell operation and also reduced hydrogen fuel waste. The winner of this year's Shell Eco Marathon Technical Innovation Award is Team 201 TP Eco Flash, Tomasic Polytechnic High School. Huge congratulations to TP Eco Flash from all of us at Southwest Research Institute. Another great example of how our teams are pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Back to you, Norman. I couldn't agree more. Thanks very much for joining us, Max. And also from my side, congratulations to Team TP Eco Flash for your great fuel cell design. And please don't forget to share the celebration selfies with us via Instagram or Twitter. For the Communication Award, teams are judged on their ability to run the most impactful and successful integrated communications campaign on their Shell Eco Marathon project. We're now going live to my colleague, Xiao Wei Lu from Shell, Hello, Xiao Wei. Great to have you with us. Can you please tell us, what did the jury think about this year's winners? Hi, Norman. The entries for this year's Communications Award are really strong. The winning team has a very clear objective and vision for their communications. They also have a very structured approach. It is really great to see they have so many ideas that are focusing on giving back to communities. And of course, they integrated this into their communications. Sounds great, shall we? And who won? 
the winner for this year's Shell Eco Marathon Communications Award is Team Number One Seven, Team Eco Titans from VIT University, India. Huge congratulations to Team Eco Titans. For this category, the jury would also like to give an honorable mention to Team Five on Four. Sama Urban UG and from University of Gada Mada. They really touched the heart of their audience with their personal stories. Now back to you, Norman. Thank you very much, Xiao Wei. And a huge congratulations also from me to Team Eco Titan on your well-structured communications campaign. Our next category is the Vehicle Design Award for Urban Concept Vehicles, sponsored by Altair. It recognizes innovative design research in Shell Eco Marathon vehicles and is presented by Pandu Ranga from Altair. Hello, Pandu. It's great to have you back with us. Please tell us who are this year's winners and, most importantly, why did they win? Hi, Norman. It's great to be with you again. This time, the level of submissions was very high. In fact, the jury was very impressed. The way the winning team captured the overall product development process was very impressive. Overall vehicle design is fantastic. The amount of detailing in packaging, interiors, and ergonomics was amazing. The quality of interiors looks really cool and professional. This time, in Shell Eco Marathon, for the urban concept category, the winning team is team number 709, Nanyang Autonomous Venture from Nanyang Technological University. Big congratulations from everyone at Altair to the winning team, Nanyang Autonomous Venture. The jury would also like to make an honorable mention of team 615, Averera, which has done fantastic job on component design very detailed work, including parking brake. Norman, overall the teams have been doing a great detailed job this year. I'm really pleased to hear this. Thank you so much, Pandu. And please stay with us. We'll be coming back to you shortly. And congratulations also from me to Team Nanyang Autonomous Venture for your outstanding design and also well done, Team Amarela. And now on to the Safety Award. This award aims to highlight the importance of design and behavioral safety in Shell Eco Marathon. To announce this award, I'm being joined by my colleague, Carlos Maura from Shell. Hey, Carlos, great to have you with us. Please tell us what stood out about this year's winners and who they are. Hi, Norman. Well, this year's competition was tough. This year's winner demonstrated a daily commitment to safety by conducting seminars and interactive programs with the public. They really proved that safety is a culture, not just a set of rules to follow. This year's Shell Echo Marathon Safety Award goes to team number 320, Infer, Sir M. Vishwaraya, Institute of Technology. A big congratulations to Team Inferno for showing us that it is all about staying safe. Now, back to you, Norm. Thank you so much, Carlos. We are really happy you were able to join us here on the show today. And big congratulations from me to Team Inferno. I see you were really on fire here with your approach to safety. Well done. Don't forget to share your celebration selfies with us on Instagram and Twitter. Moving on to the Vehicle Design Award Prototype category sponsored by Altair. I think we still have Pandu on the line. Welcome back to the show, Pandu. Please tell us what stood out about this year's winning team and most importantly, who is the winning team? Hello again, Norman. It's a very tough task for the judges. 
it is really amazing to see the winning team reduce vehicle weight, vehicle drag, and still improve the vehicle safety. The winning team has very successfully implemented the product development process, including the simulation. This time, in Shell Eco Marathon prototype category, the winner is team number T15 ETU E Super Mileage from Delhi Technological University. Huge congratulations to the winning team TTU E Super Mileage from all of us at Altair. For this category, the jury would also like to make an honorable mention to the team 308 Polytechnic Brunei SSE from Polytechnic Brunei for their continuous improvement, new ideas, and thorough research. I am sure, Norman, you will agree with me that this year, level of design and simulation in Shell Eco Marathon teams in Asia has really gone up. What do you say? Yeah, I really agree with you, Pandu. A real step up this year. I'm so happy to see the improvement in our Shell Eco Marathon team. My big congratulations to DTU e Super Mileage for your well documented conceptual design. And also, congratulations and well done to Team Polytechnic Brunei SSE. On to the final award of the year. The Circular Economy Award recognizes the team that makes best continual use of resources and eliminates waste. We're now going live to Manzi Marantripati, my colleague from Shell. Hey Manzi, please tell us what impressed the jury most about this year's winning team and who they are. Hi Norman. This year's entries for the Circular Economy Award have been really innovative. The winning team impressed the judges with their novel and very eco-friendly idea of using bamboo to construct their vehicle, even getting the bamboo strength certified by the local regulatory bodies. And the winner for this year's Shell Eco Marathon Circular Economy Award is Team 316 Pravega from the Government Engineering College, Barton Hill University. Congratulations, Team Pravega. And back to you, Norman. Oh, I love the idea of a bamboo car and all these opportunities to grow your own spare parts. Thank you so much for joining us, Manzi. Really appreciate it. And congratulations from me to Team Pravega for your innovative use of material. A huge congratulations from me to all teams involved this year. We've really been impressed with the number and the quality of submissions. And also a big thank you to Scuderia Ferrari Formula One driver Charles de Clare for being part of these awards. And please don't forget, if you are a winner, send us your celebration selfies on Instagram or Twitter. Thank you very much for tuning in. And from everybody at Shelley for Marathon, goodbye. <laughs>